soil nitrogen mineralization potential or a soil's inherent ability to provide plant available nitrogen during the growing season due to the decomposition of a soil organic matter and release of labile nitrogen is generally not accounted for in turf grass nitrogen fertilizer recommendations. I completely disagree with that. I think that's complete BS. I don't know. I don't know how they get crap like that in a in a in a scientific paper. And it's the second sentence. You can already tell I'm ticked off. When we do nitrogen calibrations for turf grasses, we say, okay, we need one pound of nitrogen or half pound of nitrogen on the low end, and we need say let's say, call it three pounds of nitrogen on the high end. Okay, let's call it that. All right. It accounts for the nitrogen mineralization from the soil organic matter already. It's already accounted for. Because it was included in the nitrogen that got taken up into the turf grass as a part of the calibration process. Yes, we applied one pound or we applied two pounds or three pounds or four pounds or whatever to see what the calibration would be. But that included what was being mineralized by the soil organic matter. So that line is complete nonsense. I would argue back to the, to the authors, how is my nitrogen calibration test that I conduct in South Florida, in, in Ocala, Florida, in, in J, Florida, in, in Lexington, Kentucky, how is that not including the nitrogen being mineralized from soil organic matter. How? There's no way around it. There's no way to argue out of that. And, and I don't know how this junk gets into scientific articles. It drives me nuts, as you can clearly tell.